Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. And right now, we're looking at a certain Mr. Mustache Man who looks kind of handsome. Kind of handsome, not gonna lie, but the Damocles Project. Inspired by the Cambridge Conference, which took place during the Second Congress of the Internationale in May 1937, another somewhat secret reunion took place for the last weeks of the University of Cambridge. A group of theoretical phys physicists from Britain and France, led by Norman Feather, Frederic Jolot Curie, and Francis Perrin, are discussing the possibilities of the radioactivity and nuclear fission and its uses, from electricity generation and medical applications to powerful strategic weapons. The participants are requesting funding for the establishment of the Damocles Project, a joint British-French committee for nuclear research. We won't waste money on such absurd things. Of course we will. <laughs> also, I think when I finish Britain within the International, if you wonder that, about that, please go ahead. Uh, it auto-bypasses auto the mission of Norway, but... Norway is rife for syndicalism. We could send a team of politically experienced advisors and leaders to the Norwegian Syndicalist Party, bringing pressure on the capitalists and supporting the syndicalists. So that automatically got done, which is really nice. It is May 23rd, 1938. Um, I kind of want to see what we can do with Australasia. So let's do a mission to Australasia. Socialism down under is in dire straits. Their requirements are to fight capitalism tyranny, or capitalist tyranny, successfully. They must have assistance. I can't remember, we might have done some of these at Scotland, I don't remember. But, whatever, we're doing the best we can here. We don't even have 100 factories yet, which really, 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 really sucks. But we're, we're doing the best we can. Um, obviously, we need more stuff here. Um, yeah, that's just pretty much it. We need more tanks. Which is good to know, I guess. But already, just, our army's not looking great. It is what it is. I'm, I'm assuming France is going to do most of the battling there. Actually, right now, how are planes? Planes are probably not looking too great either. Yeah, not great. We'll do the best we can. We'll... Definitely try. Also, we didn't get to Washington yet. I mean, as you can see, this battle's not going great for us, so I'm like, I don't want to waste time there. I don't want to waste manpower. I don't want to waste lives. British lives are incredibly important right now. So, but we're still hopping out down here for now. We'll see what happens. Uh, actually, you guys could probably actually help out right here maybe do okay. Okay, maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Mmm, can someone else help us out here? Please? Oh, oh, yes? Yes? No? Maybe? There we go. Can they actually pierce us? No, they can't. Japan announces their ambitions. That's good. Camillo Alonso Vega. We actually still might be able to win there. William Gott. We have quite a few comments and what mostly boiled down into people asking me to play different campaigns. So, Chaz, try out Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, and Belarus because there's recently an update to Kaiser Redux. Or actually, Kaiser Reich, I think. To Kaiser Reich. Uh, at the time of this recording, that gave those countries unique trees, I think, or some or a little bit of rework, rework or something like that. So we'll check them out eventually. Actually, honestly, my plan was to play as either Belarus or uh, not maybe not Belarus, but Latvia and Estonia, just to see what they would be like. But I could not collapse the United Baltic Duchy. I don't know why. I tried to lose, wasn't able to do that. So my apologies. I would like to, but I would actually really, really like to, but. It just wasn't in the cards for this for right now. At the time, this is recording, of course. So, but maybe eventually, I just couldn't collapse the United Baltic Duchy, which sucked. Uh, let's see. I should try out uh, Lawrence of Britannia. We should try Goring's Mental Africa, uh, or Blair's Eric Blair's Union of Britain. Eventually, we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully, maybe someday. But Iceland leaves Middle Europa. The people of Iceland have elected to leave the Middle European sphere and attempted to forge a new web of independent trade. This could be an opportunity for us to find an ally closer to the home isles. Interesting. Nice. Better guns. Awesome. 1938. Um, extraction would be good eventually. Let's get some more rubber. I don't want to have to import too much rubber anyway, so. And to be a little bit more self-sufficient from the capitalists would always, of course, be a jolly good thing. Uh, see, so someone says we should try to form the 1984 Oceania borders. I don't know if we're actually going to be really get down that far into Oceania, but we'll see. You know, you never know. Let's see. Try out HSS Croatian Thousand Week Reich. Maybe eventually. I do want to get back to the Thousand Week Reich eventually. And the Balkans seem like a very fun nation or group nation uh, area to play as. We'll put it like that because it's it's filled with a lot of stuff. It's actually filled with a lot of stuff, which looks it looks really awesome. So, someone says we should play as Joseph, basically Joseph Stalin, basically Joseph Stalin here and the Kaiser Redux, which was that one guy we saw yesterday that had like the last name of Josip and Jugoslav Lomelovsky. Something like that, so... Eventually. I do want to play as him. Uh, no, I think ISP played as him. Did he? I can't remember. Oh, Class Warfare. I like Class Warfare. Do we like that? I don't know. American Comrades, support from the Union of Britain. I think we're going to help these guys out. I do want to help these guys out completely, but we still have to help ourselves out as well. So let's expand the industry first in Scotland. Scotland has to be left... Has... Scotland, too, has been left behind. Oh, well, that's too incorrectly grammatically. Anyways, had its people neglected, and it's well stolen by the capitalist pigs. No more. Today, investment will flow north. Yeah, two with we want two O's there. Uh let's see. And someone says Mosley, really 
Oswald Mosley is a very interesting and fascinating man. And someone said he has an autobiography? Yeah, I should check it out sometime. I should, really should. Yeah, I've been meaning to ask, like, people, like, um, like, what books would you recommend? Like, reading about different types of political people? Um, you know, maybe I'm just people about, like, ideologies. Just, like, recommend me books. I'll check them out, maybe, eventually, if I have time, which I don't have a lot of it. But maybe I'll pick up some books someday. So, hey, if you, if you ever come across something that you think would be really cool and interesting to learn more about a specific ideology or group or politics or something, let me know. Seriously, let me know in any, any comments in some of my videos. But, the Anglo-Indian Trade Agreement. A most interesting proposal has just been wired to the officials at the Foreign Office of our cons Consulate Staff in Calcutta. In the midst of an increasingly worried development and other Indian successors to the Imperialist Raj, our good friends and proletarian brothers in the Bharatiya Commune are proposing a final economic deal to strengthen the backbone of their un otherwise wobbly government with next technical and industrial advisors from a British Union. In exchange, the working man of Britain will receive a steady supply of bananas, tea, and other exotic goods while his benevolent government gains access to vital resources such as rubber. R. H. Tawney, a seasoned politician with solid socialist credentials and good connections with Congress cadres in India from the early days of our Union, awaits the acceptance of London before boarding a ship to Calcutta to flush out the deal. No way. International trade is a hobbage of capitalism. Now that person sails for Calcutta once more. Yes. Uh, and actually, the one at the tennis recording, the comment that got the most upvotes at, what is this, 9.08 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is when I'm recording this, was Hail Mosley, absolutely, which I actually should have started opening with first, but that's fine, you know, whatever. Mm, yeah, I'm going to move you guys around, but then again, they're all only, they're literally only fighting in Appalachia right now, so even fighting here, it actually might be okay, but there's a lot of mountains of stuff still, so moving around doesn't make any sense. Wells proposes a world encyclopedia. How George Wells has just presented before the Republican Institution plans for the compilation of a constantly growing and changing world encyclopedia to be reviewed by outstanding authorities and made accessible to every human being. What a silly idea. Every British family must be enlightened. We must spread the light of knowledge to the entire world. Yes. 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 Actually, after this, so we'll get this one for Scotland. So we need to expand local initiatives, which we can't do, or mobilize industry. So we're going to go here next. We're going to do boom, boom. We'll get some more uh, military factory construction speed. The British Rail to get down here, to get that done as fast as possible. Even though this will look really good. So as much as I want to do Southern England, and we need those military factories, militarize industry. Only through relentless efficiency and discipline, even the most mundane of tasks, will we be able to beat the capitalists. Oh, those cappies. Cappy, 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 cappies. They're really beating the crap out of us here, aren't they? Oh, that is unfortunate. Even though we still have more planes than them. Oh, and we now have 150 PP, which is very delightful. So we're doing okay. We already have all the research stuff we want. That's actually really good. Really, really good. Head of intelligence would be nice. Do we have an intelligence agency yet? Yes, we do. We did see that yesterday. Right? Right. Um, We could get the head of intelligence. Or we could get chief of the Air Force right now. I don't normally choose this one. I'm thinking about choosing that one. I like this one. Air superiority. 10% is just so good. It's so good. Owen Boyd. Marandez. Marandaz. I don't know. Let's do Owen Boyd. Just because we are, you know, we're struggling down here a little bit. We really are. So. Help him out up here, too. That'll be good. RH Tiny reports back. And, oh, the World Encyclopedia. In Calcutta, a man of the negotiations, People's Delegates H.R. Tolony, has reported back that the Indian government wishes to con conclude a treaty regarding the facilitation of British industrial aid and development in exchange for access to a greater amount of the vast wealth of India. Our colleagues in Bengal are anxiously waiting a response. They must be joking. Of course, solidarity forever. Consumer goods factors goes down by 10%. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm sorry for saying a bad word there, but it is what it is, whatever. Um, hey, we got that back. The World Encyclopedia. Comrade H.G. Wells has, with funding for the Union of Britain, has gone through this plan of a compiling of a constantly growing and changing world encyclopedia to be revealed by outstanding authorities and made accessible to every human being. The whole world cheers on the effort endless efforts to bring the cynicalist creed to even the most far from readers. We must spread the light of knowledge to the entire world. Actually, if this was Victoria 2, we would get prestige from this. Ah, and probably shared prestige, but mostly just prestige for us. That'd be really cool if we got prestige from this, but whatever. That's not in Hoi. Oh, hello. That's not good. Oh, nice. More infantry divisions, which is uh, not bad, but these guys aren't really that great, I'll be honest. They're okay, they're just not that great. The British Army is not very good. That's why I want to specialize in, you know, tanks. Specialize in something. Right. Oh, there goes Estonia and such. Goodbye, guys. Have a good day. Train if you need to. We're training that entire group for now, see what we can do. My goal is to just whittle them down, get some more army XP. Actually, we have enough army XP. Oh. Uh, we need more tanks. That's the thing we got to keep in mind. We need more tanks. We got 200 some for motorized, 1,800 things of support equipment. Are these the tanks we're using right? Jesus Christ, no wonder we're losing. 
Uh, hmm. That would not be bad, actually. Uh, that really wouldn't be too bad to get. I think I'm going to go Engineer Zell. Th just that defense is so strong. That's incredibly strong. The Fall Battalion, very good. I, I, I want to help out. I really do. There's, but there's literally no point to. There's literally no point to even try to attack right now. But there might be a point to take out Atlanta. Shoot them down a little bit earlier, but whatever. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Also, I forgot. South Africa's on fire. It was really bad. We might lose this division here, actually. So, yep. Well, we didn't lose a division, at least. But yeah, that was really bad. Canada actually na did nearly invade, which really does suck, so. Preparations for war? Well, I kind of figured that one out. And my apologies for not getting this one done earlier. We got all that stuff done. Just go extraction. Extraction for now. It's super good to get. We could really use that. Well, Atlanta's gone, at least, for now. And you've almost made it. Good job, guys. Get down here first, because I don't want to tax from mountain territories into there. I'd rather attack from planes, if that's what it is here, into here. There, you should be able to win. Hopefully. The Black Revolt. You know what? I hope the Black Revolt can help us out, because we're helping them out. I love what they're doing. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. They're doing great. We love the Black Revolt here. <sighs> so handsome. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's my new Hadrish right now. Oh, the Philippines. Well, that's not great. It's alright, though. Can we capitulate the car? Please let us capitulate the car. At least let us feel like we've done something. These guys are really weak. Ah, we lose at home. That's good. And you guys are taking a lot of beatings. The being the morale, the beatings will continue until morale improves. But you know, whatever. Here, yeah, you should be able to help out there. This probably looks like hills, maybe or plains. Yeah, plains. Please, love God, plains. Monarch restored in Greece. If you want to about our finest hour, please go ahead. What a childish fantasy. Um, just in case future, uh, we'll probably will navally invade Canada. That's my goal. And actually, ooh, you know what? I'm glad I thought about this right now. We're going to start researching 1939 tanks. The next thing we do, well, after rubber processing, will be 1939 tanks. Because I want to get medium tanks. we got to get medium tanks. We don't have a big industry, but it's got to... It'll be what, have, what it'll be. And if we can get America and the Americans of War, the CSA to win, that'll really help us out. That'll really help us out. This guy's really good in defense, though. Really good. Another armor division. Nice. Four army XP, which is not too bad. Um, do you have another tank to general here? No. Hmm. I take that person for now. Scotland is done. Thank you very much. Militarized industry. It takes so long to do. Oh my god. And after that one, we will go with mobilized industry. We need to convert every single industrial complex to produce material valuable to the war effort. And we still need to do all this stuff. We still need the Air Force. It just. 70 day focuses, man. They, they hurt me. They hurt me so much. What was I say? Every time I forget what I wanted to do, I. When I say when I need to do something, I forget what I want to do when I get there, actually. But now I did remember, so that's okay. We're still looking good. You know what? This this front was stalling for so long. Or at least against the feds. But now, against these guys, we're doing okay. Where's the capital? Is it Miami? It is Miami. Come on, American you say, Come on, guys. We're in this together for now. Come on, Raymond Briggs. You're doing a great job. Of course, led by Ronald Forbes Adam. Uh, actually, I don't... I, yeah, I'm glad I looked at this. We need more millies. Keep going for more millies. Uh, 70%. Let's talk about Scotland a wee bit. Just just a wee bit, though. Not too much. Just a wee bit. Tanks. Yeah, oh my god. Yes. Of course, we'll, we'll switch them out with medium tanks later on, but still. You are fighting over a river, which is really bad, but... Could you actually win, though? Uh, go here. This is better. Maybe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, boy. They only have two divisions, but eh, they're looking so weak. The Skolakta Republic? Well, that sucks. A challenge from the Canadian Navy. A large flotilla of ships ranging dangerously close to our territorial waters has been identified as Canadian. We can't be certain, but they appear to be testing our responses, challenging us, in other words. We could send out our fleet to rattle our sabers in a game of maneuvers, but we're, we're taken a bit by surprise. If we lose, it'll be embarrassing for us, so perhaps not as much as we don't act at all. Oh, boy. Hopefully this doesn't go poorly for us. And that's why I'm saving right now. Challenge with the Canadian Navy? We'll play. We'll try it. We're propaganda. Hey, we're actually going to win here. Look at that. Oh, we can go down here, too? Oh, we lost it. That's embarrassing. We challenged the Canadian Navy, and we lost. They were prepared for us to show ourselves, and then we played a game of hide-and-seek in the waters while they made us look like fools. How embarrassing. Well, oh, well. I got Navy XP, though. My bad. You know, I'll go big, go home. I did save, but eh. Something like that. Whatever. 
It is what it is. Actually, we'll attack here next. Cut these guys off. That'd be really good. Okay, so right now we're done pushing, um, or at least making the uh, intelligence agency stuff. We don't really need to do it right now. We need to save as many civvies for now to build, build, build. I don't mind building up these uh, infrastructure places. Infrastructure places? Infrastructure. Why is the AI so dumb? You want to attack here, not there, here. You cut them off here. If you, if you wait, if you may. Why does Fiume exist? Mikloth! Mikloth? Mikloth! Oh! A pirate's life for me. Okay, well, United Pirates. Good luck with that, guys. Good luck with that. Alright, then. We're getting those tanks. Uh, at this point, just go with, go with this one. We have, we have a bonus to it anyway, so. Jesus Christ. Both of these guys are losing. Every direction we turn, we're gonna lose. Oh, that sucks. Hmm, I don't know, just hold for now. Just hold, just hold, just hold. Ooh, look at that. I better end world bombers would be good. Uh, light ship holes are nice and all, but let's get some more, uh, some of these guys out, maybe. Radar? Yes, good. It's not much, but we'll gladly take it. Go to. It's easy to make destroyers. It's difficult to make carriers. Alright, not bad, not bad. There you go. We're gonna have enough fuel to do this too. Train. I want to help out here, and these guys are attack the Japanese are attacking with the Black Revolt. This is very weird, but they're doing okay. If it's ahead of time, that's okay. Cause we need to do it. We definitely, definitely, definitely need it right now. All right. We're still losing here. Spanish Civil War still raging on. The American Civil War. Come on. At least break them here. I don't know why the AI is not attacking down there. It just makes no sense why they do it. They wouldn't do it there. Um, yeah, I I'm going to rush for this. We're going to rush for that, and then we'll help out everyone else that we can. Maybe. The CSA doesn't need our support, right? It doesn't need our help too much, right? There you go. Fall of Beijing. Nice. Uh, Bell Alexander, you got anything else here? Nope, that's all right with us. Chief of the Army. Oh, I don't know, man. That one's really good to do. I love that one so much. Supply consumption. More defense zone defense. Supply consumption. But I always do that one. More speed. And you get division attack. Our divisions aren't very good. I want to help our divisions out as much as possible. Um, I'm just going to go with supply. I mean, it just supply. Save us on fuel maybe a little bit. Save us on, you know, attrition that could happen. Especially in places like this. So, overall, it could be a lot worse. After mobilized industry... You know, I'm going to go help out some of these guys first. Let's get the support for comrades one done. If socialism is to survive, all socialist nations must thrive. It is our duty as socialists to assist the formerly downtrodden peoples around the globe who now valiantly... Who... who to assist them. Who, who now valiantly oppo oppose their oppressors. That, that, that sense doesn't feel, doesn't feel right. Hmm. Need a few more motorized, need more light tanks, need more medium tanks. Yeah. Um, we need more army XP as well. <sighs> Neither spots are really that good right now. I mean, why would you be attacking there? Attack down here. Are you dummies? Yes. Yes. How far can we go here, at least, until we get caught? Hello, where... I'm literally just trying to stretch out the lines right now. For both sides. Horses versus... Whoa! Okay, well, I guess that's hills, but still. Oh, this is really dangerous to do, but still. Alright, yeah, let me attack us. Alright, then. I mean... Oh, there goes Egypt. And the Ottomans. Goodbye, Ottomans. You guys still... Yeah, you're still fighting here. Still doing the same old, same old. Ah, uh, come on, guys. Stop trying to push against DC. You're not going to be able to get DC yet, guys. This is looking like we might actually be able to get that, which is very good. 
over here. We're oh, they're doing that stuff over there, which is fine. Whatever. Oh, well, they're attacking us here. Might as well hold out for now. You guys, the Great Syrian Revolt. Very cool. We got them. We cut them off. Well, they still have ships and stuff, but that's really, really bad for them. Focus on this side first. Focus on this side. Go up. Go up and help them. Good. I wonder what the PCL is going to look like if the Black Revolt does not get crushed. Which, it doesn't look like it is. So, this is really good. Help them out, boys. Help them out. They're still getting attacked here, too, which is not good, because we could, could get in a sickle here and get killed. I might retreat up. Let's retreat up north. Tactical retreat. Um, these guys are the dudes we're using. Get some art engineers on them. That'll be good. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. That was going to be red. I'm glad to save those guys' lives. Um, help kill these guys off. Two divisions gone will be great. That's 13 divisions there. Wow. Alright, so these guys cut off. These guys just cut off again. Wow. Come on, give it up. Car, give it up. Go up here. And, oh, well, you already did. You won there. Okay. Can you actually win there? It seems kind of re really bad right there. If anything, you want to from here to there. Three militia divisions. Are you actually winning? You are not? Yes? But not really. Alright. Get more cap. Well, we'll leave it alone for now. We'll see what they're going to do. Hmm. You guys go in there. That's good. Ooh, they are attacking us here. Let's hold first. Let's hold first. Nice. Mobilize industry is good. Help the comrades out. We'll do one every other one. Uh, so, so next we'll do the British Rail Reform. The British Rail Syndicate is in a horrid state. By investing into our infrastructure, we will share flawless cooperation between syndicates all over the island. That's good. Um, oh, yes, please. Yes, yes. Uh, keep going for more fuel. That's going to be the lifeblood of our entire group here. So, actually, we can lower this by one. Awesome. And since we're here, any other planes? No. Okay. You guys do that. We got enough for this. Do that too. Any other planes as well? Naval bomb is going to be super important as well. Train. Everyone train there. Next up, uh, Chief of the Navy. I'm trying to use more carriers. I want carriers to be th the bread and butter for us all. So we need more sword efficiency. So either power or Anstis. Edmund or Appa. I kind of like Edmund the name more, but I'm going to go with Mr. Power. Because if you have Mr. Power in the chair, he sounds like he's going to be very strong. That's literally how we're going to decide who gets the position here. Totally democratically elected. Totally. Um, that's not looking great. Hmm. What happened, 1939, everyone? Hope you're having a great year. Yeah, you guys aren't winning there. That sucks. They're just... Who has, does anyone have manpower still? Like, in Spain. You have a fat face. Sorry. Just, I'm, so, I'm sorry. It just, that's the first thing I thought when I saw him. Javier looking... Not bad. I like the hat. Dude, just, just do a little bit more cardio and you'll be fine. Just a little more cardio. You'll be okay. And over here, we're looking pretty good. The best, obviously. Look at what capitalism does to you. Gives you a fat face. Oh! The car was gone! The car's been annexed. I've never seen the Black Revolt actually live. I've never seen them live before. Holy crap. That's impressive. That's actually really cool. Looks like someone's chains have been broken, but they're authoritarian Democrats, so... They have volunteers from Japan. That's just so weird. It's alright, though. Now, only the Reds are dealing with the Feds, which kind of sucks. But the American New State is still fighting the P PSA. When I played the PSA that one time on this channel so far... Wait, why is New England demilitarized? Uh-oh. That is not good. But, um, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yes! Research better guns. Immediately get a line of these uh, tanks going. Go five. Uh, I don't want to load this by too much, but we're going to load by three for now. Uh, keep this on two, because we'll get we'll replace some of those guys. More tactical bombers will be important. More motorized will be more important. We don't have enough factories. We just straight up don't. Uh, build some radar stations in Sussex. We're going to need them. This guy's still going to attack. Nej, Nej. Nice. Good. This guy's going to be here for a very long time still, which is fine, whatever. Uh, you guys are doing... Okay. You know what? Don't go that way. Go here. British Rail Lines. As much... Uh, you know, I think I'm going to go this one next. 
industrial veteran programs. Promoting practical experience in the factories will lead to further increase in efficiency. Hail Mosley! Beat those fed boys up. How much more manpower do the feds even have? I mean, I know they get, there's not that much manpower they've left. These guys are still up rocking a lot. Oh, and Burundi, Africa, no one cares. Sorry. But it's, it's the truth, probably. Um, armored. So really, with these guys, with artillery... I mean, I'm focusing really on purely infantry divisions for now that are defensive. That are really just defensive. I think that'll be good for us. Because I want the tanks to lead the way. So. The Alten Kampf. What the heck is... The Alten Kampf. What the heck is going on? Jesus Christ. Hey, the Austrian lazy... Fat man! Nord Rhodesia. Rhodesian. Bertolt von Daimling. Very cool. Rwanda's gone, as it should be. Bunch of veterans over here. Cool. Oh, that sucks. Let's keep going for now. Are they going to kill each other eventually? Maybe not. Hopefully not. These guys, these guys are looking bad. These guys are looking bad. Well, they were they were just winning here. What happened here? Infantry leader be becoming one of those. Cool. Construction 3, 1939, of course. Uh, get better already as well. we got to be ready for this war. And go on, throw more of this. More millies. Did any other stuff have to train? Train now, well, because we got the fuel for it. Eventually, we are not going to have the fuel. Train, 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 train. Train everything that we need to right now. Train. Best machine tools are nice. Uh, we got this all stuff done already, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. We're still doing that stuff. We got the tanks. Get better engineers. We're going to need better engineers. Albania and Serbia. Well, I don't think that's going to start off World War Second Belkar but whatever. Kill them off. Come on. They're just fed boys. Lost minute. That's fine. And losing PP, I wasn't really too worried about that just because. Look how much. We already have 150 PP already again. Chief of Staff. I want to do this stuff. Infantry and more population, but. Ooh, I did go organization earlier. And we did play as kind of Bill Alexander, sort of, earlier. A whole bot would be really nice. I like that one a lot. That would really help out our tanks. But this helps out everyone else. And I want to make sure we have enough organization for everything. Yeah, let's do that one. Sublime Ottoman Federation. Cool. Keep getting us more army XP. Come on, baby boys. Y'all doing great. Defend and then we'll attack up here, too, if we can. If we get a Norfolk, that'd be awesome. I do see that there is a river there, too, though, which sucks. Which else suckos? Oh, come on, fat boys. We have a lot of air XP already. That's really nice. What are you still doing in that area? Uh, there we go. Go up. I don't want to force attack because that gets to be very dangerous. Did we get encircled here yet? No, I'm worried about this tile, but we're still doing it. My god, they're they're really taking a beating. He's almost a panzer leader, finally. Almost a panzer leader. Now he's a panzer leader, thank god. Nice. Good. And we're almost done with the British Railroad Form, too. And I'm glad I'm keeping an eye on this stuff, because we keep making these millies really fast, which is awesome. Don't get me wrong, it's really awesome, but still. Keep working on the rail for now. Uh, go up to two, because it doesn't look as good as it could be. Oh, no, it's looking really good, actually. Um, yeah, that's, that stuff is okay, too. We need more motorized, more tactical bombers, so. What else is new? Who is leading New England right now? <gasps> it's Mr. Funny Catman name! He's a popular author, did you know that? Go west. I don't remember, I've played his, his route before. It's a lot of fun. Um, Mozambique? Oh, go west. Oh, the Union of Artists. That's not good. But for a few years now, a group of artists led by a German immigrant by the name of Hans Meyer has published for the idea of a unified, unified uh, Union of Arts. They argue that all artists need to be brought together to create an actual total work of art, a uh, Gesamtkunstwerk. Needless to say, many of the proposers have adapted this view of the arts under the political life where they stand for maximist values. They've also made themselves quite popular with drafts for the unionized living space for poor comrades. The artistic world of the Union is divided as sculptors, potters, and writers deny having to do anything with these architects. And a clear path must be set. Should we establish one union for all of our artists or leave things as they are? We don't need centralization for centralization's sake. The f way forward is together. Yes.
T.E. Lawrence, good luck. I hope you have fun, Washington. That's, this is probably a literal death trap, but hey, it is what it is. The British Rail Reform, thank God. And industrial veteran program, just in time for World War II to start off. Or kick off, or whatever. So the, the radar stations are done, which is good. This is really disappointing. You guys actually might be able to win here instead. Yeah, you will be able to. Force the attack. Go, 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 if you can. Actually, they're probably not even in battle yet. I mean, this is over, which is bad. They do Marines attacking, too, which is pretty smart, but still. Cool. So then after this one, we're going to go in and do and help out Americans. For America's manufacturing bell has come forth the redoubt of socialism. This new bastion of liberation and could easily be destroyed by the reactionaries it defies. We must assist the courageous workers of America any way that we can. Nice. Oh, don't lose it, boys. Don't lose it. Oh, are you trying to do an encirclement? You got some huevos there, my friend. Nice. Go, boys, go. Get them tanks in there. And we're going to attack right there next. Come on, don't lose that towel yet, boys. No, that's not good. They're still attacking there, but that, they should be fine. Iceland expands into British waters. The Icelanders have expanded into the waters in the North Atlantic. They claim that they're only trying to get over the lingering effects of Black Monday, but they nevertheless have created unrest from the Scottish fishermen in the North. They're a small nation who, whatever fish they pull in, won't affect us too badly, but we have a chance to attempt to rekindle the trade agreement that our two Atlantic Isles shared before the revolution. Any fish in the sea? Attempt to form a deal. Why not? Let's attempt to form a deal. Why not? Come on, boys. How can we... Okay, this is actually much better. That's okay. Right here. Taking this towel will be really good for us. We do have 5 army XP. We did help out these guys. Next up, you guys. Get some more motorized on here. Cod deal signed with Isom. Oh, look at that. Nice. Icelandic merchants have opted to resume the trade that our two nations shared in the past so that the future of our islands grow prosperous together. Atlantic trade cod begins. Nice. Make you guys just a little bit stronger. We got another guy here. Alexander Hickok? Have Havelock. 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 Something like that. We do need to get some anti-air as well. We are producing some, so. Mm. We have no more armor XP, so getting the anti-air would be really good. We just don't have any armor XP, which sucks. Nothing we can do about it, though, right now. Because this will help us up here. This will help us down here. This will just be very, 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 very helpful. If we can end the federal government, that'd be really good. The second Melbourne uprising, huh? Hey! Yeah! Great! How's that really lazy looking? Huh. No, they're still attacking us. Come on, guys. Give it up. You bunch of brutes. Attack here. You might be able to win. Or just hop out here first. Uh, probably not here. Go up here first. I like that one more. Yeah, that, that one looks, looks a little better. Over here, we're still doing okay. Hold now. My god. I'm not even forced defensing these guys. Why are you looking so bad? No... Great. Reinforcement block. No supply from capital? We have ports here, though. Uh, what? Um. Is that a bug? What's going on here? Uh, I don't understand that. Wait, what? How do you mean you have no reinforcements? Hmm. Peculiar. But good guns. Very good guns we've got here. That is not good. That is really not good. Okay. Well, whatever. Nothing we really do about that for now, but still. And eh, we're importing some fuel. That's still fine. But more, uh... Factory's up. Two, two now. Just in case, go to limited. You since go limited for now. It's fine. Do you actually win there? Nice job, guys. Yeah, you guys are getting stuff, but the other group isn't for some reason. Maybe they keep getting convoy rated. Maybe, perhaps. I don't know. Kind of sucks though. Kind of really, really does suck. Soon have another research slot would be great. Yeah, it's looking bad. It's only one twenty-six flat. Fly tanks? Oof. But that one's going to be done. American comrades. And then we'll do uh, Mexican comrades? Why not? Well, about the Mexicans. The people of Mexico were among the first to cast off the chains of capitalist exploitation. Mexico remains, however, quite underdeveloped. We possess the means to help the Mexicans better their lot, and such assistance will surely foster closer ties between our nations. 
Very true. Mm, I'd like to do that stuff. Let's even wait first for that for now. Uh, Mountaineers would be really nice. Artillery's looking pretty good. Let's do some air adduction since we already have so much air XP. Oh, and a fifth reach. Oh, that's so nice. Get some of that too. Just in case. Syndicate volunteers. Looking okay here. It just, it just takes time. That's all it is. It just takes time. It sucks that it takes so much time. So we got the refineries done, but these guys will be cruising the, all the time. They're going to be cruising all the time. More, 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 more. When in doubt, get more, 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 more. Go up to one more if we need to. There, that's fine. Tanks, light tanks. Will, actually, that looks really good for light tanks. Um, yeah, we're just not in a great position, I'll say. But it could be a lot worse. If we can, just double everything we can, which we can't. God dang it. Nothing yet. That's fine. I just hope we'll be okay here. Oh, come on, man. Where are is our support? We're trying to lead the way, but they don't want to help us lead the way. This is looking fine. 127 factories. Not too bad. The feds, man. No one likes the feds. Not even the feds like themselves. They probably raised a conscription level, didn't they? No? Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. It's all adults serve. I thought they would want something else earlier, but whatever. I'm going to go down here. Intact there, maybe? We'll go right here. Try that out. Why not? Something. Just get one of these tiles, for the love of God. Alright. I feel pretty confident about this. Do that. Become a spy master. Yes, please. Thank you, Sebastian Fauré. Very good. Very good. Hmm. Anti-air upgrades will be great once we have enough army XP. Grab some more fuel as well, because, fuel, like I said, fuel is going to be incredibly crucial for what we need. Uh, you guys go over there. You'll be led by... Uh, you. Scoby. Do that. Do that. American comrades. Mexican comrades. Uh, for the cooperation, that'd be good. Indian comrades. Oh, we could do that. Uh, they're, they're probably doing okay for now without us. Uh, militaries will be, militaries will be nice. Let's get some more organization. Social command. We need to establish a central army HQ to optimize communication and cooperation between army units. This will allow for more grand scale operations to be planned in an efficient manner. It's very good. Very, very good. Another tank division is not bad. Not bad. Ah, we won there. It looks like. Nice. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe not yet. How are these guys still alive? They're out of manpower. They're literally out of manpower. Jesus. Oh, wow. This group looks so bad. Actually, let me recall these guys. Because I'm sending one of you guys over. Never mind. Two. We're sending two, boys. We're sending two. I guess I could send more tanks in, but that's okay. Well. God dang it. Why do our planes leave? That's fine. Um, wait, how many more planes can we send? Only 80, huh? Well, naval bombers, tactical bombers, go down to 80. Cool. 60, alright, that's not good. Fine. Well. Cool. Mass motorization is probably the best one. Oh, oh I hate that stuff. Yeah, no thanks. I'll say it's ultimatum. Oh, here we go. Well, now they got a war. That is, hmm. Well, the Kaiser is at war again, my friends. They are at war. Go ahead. Stop training. Go home. Everyone, go home. Colin. Are you the guy from Star Wars? Huh. Well, America, seems like we're done helping you out for now. There ain't much we can do about that for that. War as hell. I think we just got to go on in. Good luck. 
We're gonna need it. Alright, boys, let's get them planes in the air. And let's see, RAF, RAF, RAF. You know what? Give me all this. I'm gonna do this just in case we encounter some German uh, carriers, regardless of where we're at. So every area is gonna get one. You guys are gonna head into the naval, ch naval channel, English channel, and you guys as well. Good luck. I will send. I can send some guys down here, um, because I I will suppose that these guys will attack them eventually. I will send one nice little army to get some army XP. I want you guys to be hanging out for now. So so much for trying to send volunteers to those guys. You know, for now you can do this. You can be garrisons. I don't trust the AI when they're naval invading us like crazy. So yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Hey! Some sub losses? Nice. We're gonna be losing a lot of fuel very quickly, though. Hmm. Oh boy, look at that. Oh, we lost a few planes here. Well, there's definitely the British fleet. There go some of our subs and convoys. Well. It is what it is, I guess. All right. Hey, I think some subs is nice though. Oh boy, that is not ideal. Well, now our ships are showing up, but go planes, go, go, go! For the love of God, go! <laughs> planes, please do something. Oh, the oh carriers are leaving. Oh, come on, man. Man, come on. We're seeing some Danish subs, which is nice. Destroyers. We lost a couple subs. It looks like. Some more enemy subs. That's a case. Oh, we're gonna need way more fuel. Holy crap. Oh, man. Mmm. For a second there, I thought we lost more than that. Because we have convoys in the water, which is really bad. You're gonna lose you guys, we're gonna lose you guys, you guys are fine. Woo, baby. Yeah, I'm just keeping those guys here to help hold for now. All right, so now this is a this is a naval battle. Look at this. Wow. Oh, baby, sink them, sink them, sink those sons of guns. Oh yeah, drop them, drop them hard. I know they're only Danish ships we're sinking, but still. Oh, they brought in their carriers too. Oh, hem and Boim. Come on, Norman Douglas Holbrook. Oh crap, that's not good. Yeah, if they blow up the French ships, that's fine. Blow up the enemy ships though. Come on, carriers. What are you doing? Carriers, get in the battle. Mexico, come in. <laughs> um, further cooperation, the liberation of Canada would be nice. Norwegian comrades, Indian comrades, class warfare. War is upon us, and to preserve our nation and our secure liberty, all working men must now unite for victory. We should promote the spirit of unity, self-sacrifice, and most of all, renew class consciousness to augment our war effort. Yeah, seems pretty good. Gee, uh, there's so much here. There's just so much. Ooh, we lost a convoy. Oh! Oh, this is a defeat. Oh my goodness. We lost two destroyers. We lost a couple planes. Actually, they lost... Well, we lost... I think we lost more ships, but still. Oh, look at that. We lost two planes. That, you know, I'll, I'll gladly take that for now. Nice. Whoa, look at that. We lost a few planes in exchange for... What? Ten ships? Not bad. And three more ships, too. Uh oh what happened here? Hey, look, if we need a repair, like, max it out. Seriously, just max it out. And we're out of fuel. This is what I was worried about. Holy crap, what happened here? Some planes. Uh, that's not good. Let's hold for now, guys. And you guys are, but still. Get rid of that for now. Mm. Hmm. France, please don't attack. Please don't attack, for the love of God, France, please. Please. 
Oh, oh, this is... Oh, oh, look at the fleet. Look at the enemy... This is the enemy's fleet. Oh, now our ships are dying like crazy too, but... Go in, go in, go in, go in. I know we... Have... Oh my god, we're losing all these ships. Don't go in, don't go in. We literally can't get any more fuel now. Give us every single thing you got. Are you kidding me? These carriers suck. Yeah, there's, there's definitely not a carrier meta. Look at that, we lost 60, 70. Yeah, this is... Carriers are not worth it. They are not worth it whatsoever. Look at that. This is one of the worst defeats I've ever seen in my life. I've ever had. Three battleships. One of the worst. 86 destroyers. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm done using carriers. Carriers are god-awful. Never use them. Combine. Wait, what? Wait, what? Why did they get rid of each other? I didn't press anything. What the heck? Okay, thanks a lot for nothing. This guy is a failure of an admiral. Uh, Fighter director, I guess? Why can't we combine these guys? Ah, go home. Yeah, that guy's a failure. Trying to coordinate a bunch of different fleets together is impossible. Go home. Yeah, we lost way too many ships. The, the, well, my... Well, not really my fault at all. Like, there's nothing we can do if the French fleet doesn't show up to help out. It, there's literally nothing we can do. That was so bad. We lost so many destroyers and an escort. Oh, two carriers! Yeah, you know, that's partially my fault for trusting in carriers. Don't use carriers. I cannot recommend carriers from here on out. Holy crap. Our navy's nothing now. It's literally nothing. Jesus Christ. Yeah, screw these screw these things. We'll still make them, I guess. We'll finish them off, but I'm not, I'm not touching them again. Dreadnoughts are nothing. Holy crap. Yeah, from here on out. Look, if you have experience and love your, you know, carriers, let me know. But do you guys use carriers? Because there's no point in using them. They're god-awful. They're so bad. They're so bad. I don't think Hoi 4 really models how to use carriers correctly. Holy crap. Well, it's definitely a lesson I've learned now. It's a hard lesson to learn. Two destroyers. You know, you'd think the German fleet would be a little bit more incompetent. Especially for not being in any sort of conflict since the end of the Valkyrie. But you know what? Who am I? Why are these things all just disorganized? Are these our convoys? Uh, what else? Are we, are we missing anything here? Naval bombers, yeah. Yeah, we see we've got more than enough tanks for there for now. Um, Lower by one more. Let's focus on planes. And making all this just fuel refinery central. Because we're completely out of convoys already. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do then. Because there's... Like, literally nothing we can do. I mean, the the, the the German Navy is way too massive. Like, you know, like I said, I thought they were supposed to be slightly incompetent. Well, apparently our ships are really incompetent. So... I'm not really sure what to say about that at this point anymore. I guess I should do some naval doctrine stuff, but still. Like, you think carrier planes... Carrier planes would be able to do something. Yeah, go kill off Germany. I'm gonna burn Germany to the ground now. Yeah, these subs mean nothing. I want my carriers back. I want to see the the, the Kriegsmarine, whatever they call it. High seas, you know, marine fleet. Burn to the ground. Sinking the bottom of the ship. Bottom of the ship. Bottom of the ocean. Because that, that's BS. That's complete BS. I'll be honest. That's complete BS. I mean, what are we supposed to do? And here comes the Entente, too. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Well, this is gonna only get so many. There you go. Lower by that much. We have we had more than enough fuel. We had more than enough fuel. It still is not enough. That is such crap. We tried so hard. I trusted carriers way too much. Look at that crap. Look at all this stuff. I mean, come on. S 
so stupid. Incredibly stupid. France, what's your navy like? You could have done something more with this. They lost a lot of ships, too. Trying to coordinate two people's di different navies together is impossible. Especially when you're doing with the AI. So bad. But they won't be able to navy invade us, which is nice. And the CT is not losing. God dang it. This, this episode is very depressing. And... Uh, stop losing your navy! Stop losing your navy! For the love of God, stop losing your navy! I'm ready to murder Germany. I am so ready to kill them all off. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it makes sense. I hate it so much, but it makes a lot of sense. Look at that. I mean, come on, man. Seriously. They need some other, someone else to naively challenge them. Russia can't. Entente can't. Japan can, but Japan doesn't get involved with them sometimes, so. But, yeah. Just, I'm incredibly disappointed with the Navy. Just the carriers. Like, I've never suffered any sort of loss like that before. Never. Ever, 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 ever. That's, that's crap. So stupid. Uh, toad or Toad's looking okay. And we need more army because people we can't get any. It's all just air and, you know, naval. Look at all this stuff we gotta repair. Garbage. I'm not using carriers ever again. Unless I, unless I get told that there's a rework. The screen's for a reason. Look at look at that. Look at all the subs we have left. <laughs> so bad. I mean, there's no point using these guys. They're, they're garbage. They're straight trash. <laughs> they're straight trash. And they're covered by other screens, and even a few capital ships. I, mean, I don't mind losing planes. Planes are cheap and easy to, to repair and stuff, but my god. I, 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 I know stacking these guys together will give you massive penalties, but at this point, you have to. You literally have to, because of how ineffective they are. Like, and if I split this into two, then all these ships get split into two, too, and I can't, we, we literally can't afford that. So, I'm not sure what else to say about that. Well, nothing's going on down here. Can we actually just go to war with these guys, too? Just open up a second front. Just open it up. Class Warfare is nice, though. And Fortress Britain. Uh, that's not bad. Let's do Fortress Britain. There'll be no second piece of honor. We will stand to the last soldier. We will fight on the beaches. Because I don't mind opening this up. Get down here and hold. If it's mountains, you should be able to hold. But then again, I was wrong about carriers, so I could be very wrong about this. Good. Failure of the Halifax Conference? Good. Stop attacking France. I, I hate having just stupid allies. Just That's why I usually only like playing major powers. Because you have so many stupid allies. Stop attacking. Unless you're going to be attacking with armor in certain places, it, there's no point to attack. If it's, if it's going to be like this, eh, it's not, we're not really ready yet. But still. I'm still in shock, man. Like, this is... Look at that. Look at that. My god. You know, whenever I play as Germany, I can't just destroy the French fleet and the British fleet that easily. But they can when I do this. Why? Makes literally no sense. Wow, Russia's pushing hard, though. Wow, holy crap. What happened to Afghanistan? What happened to Persia? Azerbaijan? Are they part of the Entente? No. Holy... Oh, you guys are still fighting too? Look at them. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good. For some reason, I thought... No, oh, it's Belarus has claims on them, but yeah. Oh, even Poland's fighting them. Wait, why is Poland fighting? Well, they're always fighting on every front. What do you expect? But my apologies, guys. I do apologize for that, all that stuff. They're just... There's really nothing we can do about that. Like, what? Well, but we do learn lessons from playing. Don't ever use carriers. It's big heavy ship meta or, or nothing. Especially when you have air superiority in the channel. 
Well, I'm going to call a two-front war so they can start attacking us from this front, too. Let's go in. I don't care if Austria Hungary gets and called in. I don't give a crap. I really don't. Austria declares war. So be it. It just means the Polish states got another enemy to fight. Because honestly, that doesn't mean anything to us. Because the Swiss Confederation's alone, so... And I just want to hold the line. That's all I care about. And then these guys will start attacking us so we can start weakening them, them as they just launch ungodly amount of attacks. That's fine with me. But... That's ridiculous. We have a lot of people, though. British Home Guard, the defense of Britain is needed. We must rally the people to defend the islands in case the Germans decide to attack a good island. Sure, why not? Oh, what does this create? That's a guard. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Well, okay, they don't want to do anything. That's very weird. Um, yeah. I mean, they just keep blowing us up. Because those carriers failed so incredibly hard. It's not even funny. Conscript vessels? I don't even want to do that. No, I'm not even doing that. They'll just, they'll just blow up. No capital ships, no good capital ships, you die. Oh, there goes the pirates, that sucks. But I guess I'll end this episode here. I'm just, I'm, a, I'm extremely disappointed. Like, holy cow. I mean, I guess I could go with this, but... At this point, I'm not going. I'm not going down that route. Nope. I wanted sword efficiency, but it's been proven. Don't ever use carriers. Like I knew they were weak, but I didn't expect them to be that weak. Like, realistically, that's really bad. I'm doing fleet and being. Dickens' plan. The Royal Navy was centered around the battleship and the naval firepower. While Britain lost the Valkyrie, its navies held strong throughout the conflict. Since the Revolution, naval strategies advanced rapidly, and too many Republican naval officers, the Union of Britain must make a concerted effort to catch up to its rivals, rather than make a radical new approach to naval warfare. But if you enjoyed the video and learned a lot, like me. Subscribe if you're new, leave a like on the video, uh, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll be struggling against uh, these fine, fine folks over here, and we'll probably read a lot of folks' because I'm going to probably push us ahead just a little bit ahead of time. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great rest of your day.